How to execute a drop shot in tennis. The drop shot is a, what I call a specialty shot. It requires a lot of practice and a lot of feel for the ball. The way you execute a drop shot on either the forehand or the backhand is you want to create a tremendous amount of backspin so when the ball bounces on the other side of the net, it stops and actually bounces back towards you or dies and takes a nice soft bounce. You execute it by chopping under the ball and what I call feathering it. So you, on the backhand side, if I were to demonstrate, you come under the ball, you create a tremendous amount of backspin on the ball, very soft, the ball's moving very slow, and it just drops over the other side of the net and stops. Most people don't understand also that a drop shot, you shouldn't execute it by hitting it low over the net. The trajectory of a drop shot should be fairly high over the net, let's say three or four feet over the net, because then your trajectory can be directly down on the other side, of, on your opponent's side of the net. If you try to go low over the net, you're gonna hit the net and the ball is gonna travel too much towards your opponent. When do you hit a drop shot? You hit a drop shot when your opponent's way back in the court. There are a lot of people that play tennis that do not like to come forward. So a drop shot forces them to run forward to get it. So that's a good time to hit a drop shot. However, don't get drop shot-itis, which means you drop shot every ball you can. You don't want to hit a drop shot from behind the baseline very often, very rarely. Most of the time, the best drop shots are hit when you're inside no man's land or closer. What do you think? I like it. The best answer to a drop shot is another drop shot. So let's say that Joe hits a drop shot, he's 25 feet from the net, which is not too far back for him to try it, and he hits a nice drop shot, but fleet-footed Kirk manages to get to the ball, now I'm 10 feet from the net. If Joe has stayed back where he was, maybe I can beat him with an easier drop shot now. So best answer to a drop shot is another drop shot. Good tactic, if Joe hits that drop shot well, is to move up because it, he's gonna take the drop shot away from me. Now I have to lift the ball up to him, step in and volley the ball right past me. That's right. See, good players know what responses you should have to certain shots. And I know that the best response to a drop shot is another drop shot. So if I hit a drop shot and Kirk comes running up, I have to run up and take away his best option, which is another drop shot. So that's the drop shot.